What's up, fellas? This video is for Sean. We're going to be doing a little test today involving his project. He's going to be melting some sand. Here's the sand I'm going to use. It's quite wet. Nothing I can do about that right now. This is a white sand. I think this is silica sand. Okay, so that was our diesel test just to get an, a baseline temperature of what to expect from a thermal couple temperature. I know when you get online and you read and you look up the flame temperature of certain gases, they give you an adiabatic flame temperature of propane being like 3,000 degrees or something, which is total nonsense. You cannot get 3,000 degrees out of a propane flame in an open environment like this. Um, in fact, 1900 degrees is about the hottest you'll see out of one of these things probably just do a quick demo for you while we're all right here maxing out there this torch is a little bit better than most as far as how hot it gets Typically what I've seen is about a 1900 degree flame temp on propane. So let's dump this thing out It can be touched see if anything at all melted. I'm thinking no but And absolutely nothing melted As far as I can tell so just to give us an idea of how difficult this will be, definitely gonna need a crucible and a firebox. But uh, not even the slightest bit of melting. Propane gets you a lot hotter. We're gonna do the same test. We're gonna try propane, see if I can get anything to melt. This is definitely the burner to do the job though. If you have a small foundry, what happens is the inside of your foundry will get bright yellow hot and the infrared radiation from the foundry walls themselves become a constituent of the heating mechanism that is why flame impingement impingement isn't necessarily a necessity so without that radiant heat coming off the foundry walls 
were limited in what we could do. And we melted absolutely no sand. Kind of disappointing. Um, as I said, we're going to try this same burner on propane next. And um, take a look at uh, the difference. We're probably going to see temperatures maxing out this thermal couple for sure with the propane. So there you have it, Sean. Not necessarily a success, but it's, it's showing us what the temperature of diesel is anyway. We're going to do the same test with waste oil and with propane to kind of give you an idea of the different temperatures available with each fuel. But as I said, once you're inside of a foundry, the infrared radiation coming off of the walls of the foundry contribute massively to the heating of the substance that you're trying to get hot. So a small air compressor like this will do the job. I just didn't want to lack power during the test. I want to be sure that I had all the power I needed. And um, we were still unable to melt the silica sand due to the low temperatures. Now, given more time, maybe something would have happened. I've seen videos of guys doing this where it, it can take uh, a couple of hours easily. So, we, were, we ran for about a half hour, if that, maybe 20 minutes. And we used about a half gallon of diesel to do that. 